I've been attending Catalyst for about three years and I was baptized in September of 2018. Um, my husband Dan had been trying to get me to become a Christian for about 30 years, but um, I thought that I could plan my own life and I didn't need anyone's help. But actually I was stressed and I was doing everything that I could um, for everyone else, but not take care of myself. Um, I didn't come from a religious family, so um, I really didn't know what it meant to be a Christian. Um, I didn't realize that I needed God until my husband had a massive heart attack on Tuesday, June 27th of 2017. He was running at Orange Coast College um, and someone found him there collapsed and they called CPR, uh, they called 911 and did CPR on him. Um, he didn't have oxygen for 40 minutes because they couldn't get his heart beating until they got to the hospital. Uh, when my kids and I got to the hospital, the doctor said that um, he was in critical condition and that um, they didn't know what they could do for him except for give him hypothermia treatment. So when they gave him the hypothermia treatment, um, they had to cool his body so that um, his brain could heal because his um, he had significant brain damage. So um, they um, cooled his body and um, warmed it back up for 24 hours. And after they did this treatment, he still was in a comatose state. So. Um, on Friday morning, they told me that he still had significant brain damage and that um, he wouldn't get any better. He would still be in a comatose state. So when I told my kids and everything, we were all devastated and um, I just didn't know what to do. I just had to have faith that something or someone would be able to help them um, during that day. Pastor Barry and Dale came to the hospital and they prayed with us. And I also met with the hospital chaplain. And at that time, he was a stranger, but I was just so full of emotions that I just cried out my heart to him. So I know that God had listened to my cries because um, when I saw my kids again, they said that my husband was moving around and that um, he was, you know, responding to them so um, when they did another MRI in the evening on that Friday um, they found out that he didn't have significant brain damage and even the doctor said it was just a miracle that you know his brain wasn't damaged um, they found out that what caused the heart attack was a 90% blockage in his widow makers artery, so then they had to put a stent in his artery. Um, he was in the hospital for 11 days. He had to go to acute rehab for two weeks. Um, he was in a outpatient uh, rehab every day for a month, and then he had to go to occupational uh, speech and cardiac therapy for three months, and then he also had to go to a acute brain injury program at Coastline College because he still had some um, short-term memory loss. But after all that, um, a year later in June of 2018, he was able, actually able to go back to work full time. So that was, you know, God working in our lives. Um, after that, everything was getting back to normal. But then in August of 2018, my daughter Ashlyn um, went to the doctor and she said that she had um, some lumps on her throat. So she had to go have that biopsied and we found out that it was um, papillary cancer. But um, thankfully it was curable. So in November of 2018, um, she had to have uh, surgery to have her whole thyroid removed and some of our lymph nodes and so then in January of 2019 she had to have radiation therapy.
But again, God was with us. And in January of this year, she um, had a scan done and every she's cancer free now. So all along the way, we just had our friends, family, catalysts just supporting us. And um, God was there guiding us and helping us and caring for us. Um, it just, all this has just shown me how God is so loving and faithful to all of us. Um, Dan and I started attending Catalyst in 2017, and everyone there was just so welcoming that um, I just, it changed my heart about attending church. At one of the first services that we went to, they gave us the book Grace Walk, and after reading that, I realized that God just wants us to come to Him and just to show him our love and be faithful to him and so he could forgive our sins. Um, um, after, after just reading that book, I just um, decided that I wanted to accept God in my life. And so then in September of 2018, my daughter Ashlyn decided that she was going to be baptized. So I went with her to the informational meeting about what it meant to be uh, baptized, and I too decided to become baptized. Um, I just wanted to show God that I believed in Him, I had faith in Him, that I just loved Him, and I just wanted Him to have eternal life. Um, so now that I've become a Christian, I just become more forgiving of people, um, I have more understanding of people and I just um, have family members that aren't Christians, but I hope that they see what God has been doing in my life and um, that one day that they'll accept God and have eternal life too. Um, I know God has plans for my life and I'm still learning about what his purpose is for me but I know he just wants the best for me and just he just loves me. Um, and I just have so much faith and love for him that I just, um, just want him to be in my life and show me what his plans are for my life. But thank you for listening to my testimony and I hope this shows that God is faithful, loving, accepting, and just so caring. So thank you.